Are you scared to have a look and see what's under the needle plate of your sewing machine? G'day, I'm Sharon. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to have a look at three of my machines and maybe one of them matches up to yours. Now we're going to have a look at a Janome DC3050. It's about 15 years old. We'll begin by taking that off and the reason I do that is so that I can actually lift the needle plate. This particular needle plate, there's been a couple of little punch-ins around the hole that the needle goes down into. There's not a huge amount of damage in there though. Uh, I will show you one that's got an awful amount of damage. Machines can't work if they've got a lot of damage around there. Here's the needle plate that had to be replaced. If you look in here, there's a little tiny bit of metal just poking out. There's holes from needles punching into it. The machine just would not work with this anymore. There's a little bit of fluff in here. It's not very bad. I would suggest that this hasn't been used very much since it was last cleaned. Get the bobbin case out. This one's actually got a little bit of damage around here. You can see it's sort of rough. We'll have to check out later on if this is actually still working. I hope it is. But that the tech may be able to make sure that's working with that anyway. If there's big gouges out around here, the machines won't work. Or if you've had a needle punch in around the side um, that's maybe left you with some bits of plastic poking out then every time it makes the stitch the thread goes past that and you end up with the thread shredding. There's a little arrow here that's indicating up when you're putting it back into the machine. Um, there's a little lug here that matches with this spring when you're putting it in. That's a fairly basic um, bobbin case doesn't have any huge amounts of extras attached to it. Cleaning in here, as I say, there's not a huge amount of dirt in it. There is a um, mess in here. I'll put some fabric over my finger and I will wind backwards because I don't want to stab myself. Whoa, look how much came out of that. Like I say, it didn't look too bad, but when you do that, it does. And a little tiny bit more, not much. This here is an oil wick. It extends down into the machine by around about three centimeters, a bit over an inch. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on that. I don't want to produce an exploratory oil well down there. You can see the bubbles that are coming out of it at the moment, which probably sort of indicates it's a bit dry. So it will appreciate slipping up some oil. I showed you the arrow on the bobbin case. There's the matching arrow on the machine. So those two come together. It's the opposite of a vampire. Vampires have teeth that come down. These have teeth that go up. In there. Matching up the arrows. That should be in the right position now. You can also see that that oil wick down there is actually open and available from inside the bobbin case. So worst came to worst you sort of could stick a drop of oil down there without taking the bobbin case out but I would highly recommend you get the bobbin case out clean it up get rid of all the lint and then back to sewing this is Janome's memory craft 10,000 it's about 20 years old same thing with this one this machine was actually cleaned out about three months ago and I should be able to show you what it looked like at that stage. It was awful. And it's a nice big pile of lint there. You can see stuff is collecting between the needle, the um, feed dogs already. This has been used for doing Quilting, and this is what quilting puts into your machine. If you're 
and by the way it hasn't been used a lot I have multiple machines but if you're quilting you will get a lot of fluff in your machines because that's the nature of quilting so I'm just trying to make sure I don't brush dirt into the machine now you'll see that the um, bobbin case on this one is slightly different it's got this piece here this machine was the top of the line machine about 20 25 years ago 25 years ago this is one of the machines or is one of the machines where it tells you when it's running out of thread in the bobbin and that's what that bit does so that's why we have that extra bit on the bobbin case I can't see any real problems around the edge of the bobbin case so that's all good plenty of dirt around but not much else once again get some fabric finger in here and turn it backwards because I don't want to stab myself with the oh, look what I managed to do there created a nice big wad of lint um, same deal I'm definitely not going to pull that bit out of the middle there that's the oil wick that goes down into the machine and when I put some oil on here I am sending oil down into the machine and when I go to put this one back I don't have those nice helpful arrows to show me where as I had in the other one where I need to go and put it once again though I can remember it's the opposite of a vampire it doesn't have teeth that go down it has teeth that go up I need to put them down and under there is actually an arrow on there that's pointing to nothing in particular as best I can see um, but this little lug here on the bobbin case needs to come up against that spring and a little bit of wiggling it's going backwards and forwards that's how it needs to be things to remember make sure you get any lint out from between the feed dogs because if you don't then your machine's not going to be able to feed fabric so I'll tidy this one up and get another one these are the little pieces of felt that were between the feed dogs and they are quite solid this is Janome's memory craft 15,000 so this is the third one I'm showing you you'll see on the bottom right there's a key that's where you go to lock these machines before you start cleaning them or moving needle plates or anything like that so when I lock it I press the key when I go to unlock it it's there I've just moved the extension table back because the release for this um, needle plate there's no screw in it there's a lever I have to push down here I'm going to lock the machine though before I do that I don't want to do that while I've got the machine unlocked so needle plate out there's my needle plate there's very little damage if any around there but there's some dirt in there what's different with this one you can see there's a lot more stuff going on this is a, a machine that's got a thread cutter which is that bit there so I want to make sure I don't have any bits of thread that have got stuck in it um, by the way those thread cutters are only for regular thread don't use them on metallic or anything like that um, you can see how big and chunky these feed dogs are this one is not too bad actually between the feed dogs but there is a reasonable amount of um, dirt around and I would prefer that the dirt ends up out rather than in the machine so I'm not going to use any of those air things and try and blow the dirt further into the machine and you can see that this has got the piece on like the 10,000 did for checking uh, if there is sufficient thread in the bobbin to keep going and starts giving you a warning for all those people who've got these machines and when they get them from the brand new out of the box they drive you nuts because they keep telling you that you're about to run out of bobbin 
for what you're doing and you know that there's heaps of bobbin thread on there that's a setting that you can alter in the settings and I would highly recommend you do I usually take them all down to 0.5 they still give me enough information to know um, that I'm about to run out of thread but they don't drive me bananas once again checking around the outside edge that's all good um, just clear out bits of fluff here and now same as I've done with everything else piece of fabric over my finger wind it backwards always wind it backwards because you don't want to stab yourself and once again I've managed to roll that into a big bunch of thread and lint there similarly to the other machines I've got an oil wick here I'm going to just put a drop of oil in there this one actually looks like it could probably do with more than one drop of oil now I'm going to try and get as much of the lint out first as I can um, you can see here this piece also comes out this is a magnet and that allows me to clean in the middle as well same deal bit of oil in the middle there that one actually looks quite dry so I'm going to and it's vanished very very quickly so I am going to put more oil in there like all the other ones teeth go up opposite of a vampire so they're going to go under there there's a red mark on that there's a tiny little red mark on this there is also a separate bobbin case maybe two that come with this machine that have different colored marks on them depending on what they're for but that arrow and that arrow line up that lug is against the spring a little bit of wiggling it'll move a bit but it doesn't jump out anywhere when I go to put this one back in these lugs go under here first make sure that that's lined up straight and there's a target there stick your thumb on that and press it's actually quite a um, firm amount of pressure that you need to put on there to get these back in with any luck you're feeling like it's not quite so scary under the needle plate of your machine now see you next time